Standard panel installation. Step one, fronts and corners. Peel the protective film off the stainless steel corners. Peel the film off the double back tape. Lay a bead of silicone from top to bottom next to the tape. Set the bottom of the corner reveal on the finished cab floor so that the tape is facing the back of the wall. Butt the untaped edge against the side wall and slide into place. Peel the protective film off the stainless steel front reveals including the double back tape. Lay a bead of silicone from top to bottom next to the tape. Set the bottom of the front reveal on the finished cab floor with the hemmed edge facing the front return and push into place against the front return. Some returns may not be completely flat. In this case, you can use a screw on the non-hemmed edge to push the reveal tighter against the return. Some transoms protrude out further than the return. In this case, measure from the cab floor to the transom. Mark the front reveal at the appropriate height and cut using a cutoff wheel. Be sure that the cut edge is at the floor. The remaining piece will be used at the transom. Step two, vent bases. Set the back wall true vent base on the cab floor against the back wall. Using the provided blocks, center the base between each side wall. Using the provided blocks, space the bottom of the base approximately 7 8 to 1 inch above the finished cab floor. Using the provided squaring jig, make sure the base is square to each side wall. Use provided shims to raise the base square if necessary. Screw the top holes. Remove the blocks underneath the base and continue screwing the bottom holes. Repeat the same steps for the sidewall bases. Use the provided blocks on the top edge of each base to ensure that they are at the same height. Keep in mind, the sidewall bases are not always centered. Refer to the drawings provided to determine the proper reveal for the sidewall bases. Step three, installing the lower panels. Most of our standard cab interiors use our patented DuraSpline for faster and easier installation. The wall panels should be labeled on the back top edge with tier, side, and order. Start with the back wall lower panels. Starting from one side, set the first outside panel into the tab on the true vent base. Insert the spline into the side of the first panel. Be sure to leave a 3 fourths gap between the bottom of the spline and the top of the base tab. Set the next panel into the base tab and slide sideways into the spline. Repeat this process until all the lower back wall panels are in place. Center the panels using the provided blocks on each end of the panels. Screw the splines in place and remove the outer panels. Install the lower stainless steel reveals by tucking the bottom of the reveal behind the base tab and sliding sideways into the panel groove. Be sure that the reveal height is correct. You can ensure the height is correct by sliding a spline into the top groove of the panel. The bottom of the spline should butt into the top of the vertical reveal. Reinstall the outer panels. Install the horizontal spline into the top grooves and screw into place. Install the horizontal stainless steel reveal over the spline. Make sure the reveal is centered side to side. Repeat these steps for each sidewall. Step four, install the handrail backer. Before installing the handrail backer, use a tri-square to draw a center line from the top to bottom. Slide the handrail backer into the horizontal spline that was previously installed. Center the handrail backer side to side. Repeat these steps for each sidewall. Use the provided blocks to ensure that all handrail backers are level with each other and square to each wall. 
Install the next horizontal spline and reveal. Step 5. Installing the upper panels. Install the upper panels using the same process as the lower panels. Step 6. Installing the crown. Install the crown the same way as the handrail backer. Step 7. Installing the top freeze. Install the freeze by tucking the freeze tab into the top groove of the crown or top panel. Center the freeze side to side. Secure the freeze to the cab wall with the provided pad studs. Step 8. Installing the handrails. Do not drill any handrail holes until it has been verified that no obstructions exist behind the cab shell, such as travel cables or wireways. Center each handrail on the handrail backer and mark for the center of each standoff. Pre-drill a 1 8 inch pilot hole for each standoff, then, using a half inch unibit step bit, drill through the handrail backer and the cab wall. Run quarter 20 togglers through the holes. Do not use an impact driver or drill motor to tighten the handrail bolts. Use the provided togglers and quarter 20 bolts to attach the handrail standoffs to the backer. Install the handrail and secure with the provided 1 8 inch screws. Step 9. Cleanup. Peel all remaining protective film and wipe with stainless steel cleaner. Laminate panels can be cleaned with ammonia-free glass cleaner. 